All right. So remember we cut the other part. It was like a little strip, no that thick. All right. So let me show you. That will be this right here. They have about an inch of thickness. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put the four strips like that and we're going to try to make a very thick bead. We're going to wet it. I don't know about you guys, but I like to experiment with thickness, you know. See how thick can I get my beads? She can, um, long can I get my beads and stuff? So I like to experiment with the thickness of the pages, with the thickness of the strips that I make for the pages. So, this case is going to be really hard because they are really thick. So we see what we're going to get. Hopefully a really nice bit. Just pull it as hard as you can. Remember, it's really, really, really thick. So, like that. And right here we're going to put the glue. And hopefully it's going to get stuck fast. We see about that. Okay, let's see, so I'm getting, no, I want to get it in, I'm going to put a lot of more glue and see how it's going to work, see, it's all slow, when your paper is really thick, it's good for you to go very slow, like that, move the B on top of the glue, like that, until you get all the glue into your bead and you're going to get this kind of bead like that. Then you put it in like this with both fingers. This hand put it in, this one put it in like this. Alright, so you got this, this bead. It looks like that. I like it. I hope you guys like it too. I think it looks nice. Very, very, like, how do you call it? Very, um, bed made or something. Because the thickness make it look like that. But when you put the other glue, it's going to look really shiny, really, really nice. All right? Well, thank you very much for watching my videos. And would you please not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that so much. I'm going to check it out. All right. I do not even know how it actually looks. Through the camera I didn't see nothing. Hopefully I didn't mess up the bead. Well anyway, when you're done for your bead is going to look like that. After that you just put a lace on it and then let it try to get the bead ready to make the jewelry with it. Alright? 